Yo, what's going on, guys? Monster Chappie, we're here today for some more Washington Redskins offensive ebook breakdown. This video, we are going to be in the pistol ace wing. I've recorded this video like four times, but I keep getting interrupted by random different stuff, so hopefully, it don't happen again. Anyways, let's hop straight into it. Gonna make this a real quick breakdown. The play we are looking at is Z spot, and as you can see, we're going against two men under, and this is what the default. Or no, this is not what the default play looks like. This is what the, the play looks like after adjustments. This is what the stock play looks like. The only adjustment you're going to make is going to be to put the outside wide receiver on the right on a fade. And then the wide receiver on the left on a drag. And then that's pretty much all your adjustments. You're going to make the same adjustments versus any type of defense. And against man defense, let's just let the play run through one time. This dude Daniels has been playing like J.J. Watt uh, in this practice mode, man. I swear, like... I need to get me a Daniels after witnessing this practice mode performance he's been having today, and you're going to continue to see it. I mean, just look at this. Just look at this. Just can't stop him. <laughs> Anyways, as far as your reads go, guys, <clears throat> your first read is going to be the wide receiver on the drag route. He's going to be open nine times out of ten. Only reason he's covered here is because that linebacker that's covering the tight end decided to double him, which may happen sometimes. But if that happens, that means there's no spy out there. Um, if he does not double him, he's going to turn into a quarterback spy, and then you just got to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but either way, that guy is a very good option. Your second read is going to be the tight end on the corner route. <laughs> just go ahead and wait. Throw that pass after he makes his break, and uh, just get a nice little 15-yard pickup. Next read is going to be the halfback. You're pretty much against two men under. You're pretty much only going to throw to him if they're using a guy that covers him. It may be trying to stop the drag or the corner route. <clears throat> and you have him available underneath for like a couple yards. Not going to get a whole ton of yardage, but you can get something. And he's very safe. Very safe read. <clears throat> and then if they decide to drop the safety down, maybe in like a hook zone or a purple or something to stop the corner route. Or uh, they, they use him and you get the one-on-one. -on -one, you can always take this over the top if you got a faster guy or if it's one-on-one, -on -one, don't be afraid to take your chance with an aggressive catch. You don't want to live and die by the aggressive catch, but if they give you one-on-one -on -one and nothing else is there, you might as well take your shot or throw it out of bounds. But uh so that's the play versus <clears throat> two men under. All right. Against cover 2. Uh same setup. I mean, like I said, the setup's going to be the same regardless of the defense. Just run through this one time. All right, so that pretty much shows you all the reads right there. That's enough time. We'll just run through this. So your first read against cover two is, of course, going to be the drag again. The first read is always the drag. The drag is just, I mean, as you can see, he's just wide open. Um, and they're probably going to use that or do something. They're going to have to make some sort of adjustment. Maybe they put a spy out there. The spy will slow it down, at least briefly, until it gets over here. Another read versus cover two. Uh, your next read is going to actually be the halfback, not the tight end. Tight end's going to get pretty much locked up. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. He'll he'll be open at some point, but just not yet. Uh, he he's kind of a later developing route. Uh, he's your last read, and so you got this halfback over here. You're not going to get a ton of yardage because the corner, and of course that linebacker, the hook zone, are going to both come up and make a tackle. But you can get like five yards, man. And if you're mad at five yards, I, uh, your, your offensive mindset has to change a little bit. I'll take dink and dunk all day. You see the Patriots do it in real life. Works very well for them. And um, it's there. It's safe. Not going to get picked off. Nothing crazy is going to happen. Your next read is not the tight end. In fact, it is the fade route. Against cover two, this fade route, if you just precision that outside, you can get some really good pickups. I mean, obviously, Bridgewater isn't the best, most accurate QB. And I threw it really late. But, like, you really just need to watch this corner because if you throw it too soon, as you can see, this corner plays back. Like, I mean, we're starting at the 30. He's going to go back. He's going to play that almost like 10, 15 yards. You need to wait a little bit. But if you um, give him that extra split second, then you can make that pass and get a really big pickup. <clears throat> I'll just kind of showcase that here. So go ahead and make that pass. As soon as he gets past that corner, um, you can get a really big gain on the outside there and uh, get some real big pickups. So, um, your next read, you just wait for that tight end route. 
eventually the flat route is going to come down and try and make a play. So we can just go ahead to hook up my controller here because it looks like it wants to die on us. <laughs> but uh, so the tight end is not really your main read against cover two, as you can see. Um, let's see here. It's right now. So we wait, we wait. And as you're going to see, the tight end just kind of gets locked up by that hook zone. You really don't want to go there unless that hook zone right here, unless he uh, just decides not to cover him or if they use for this guy and take away the drag or something. But most of the time, uh, your reads are going to be the other guys of the play, either that fade for a big play, the drag for something quick, or the halfback for something quick against cover two. Cover three and cover four, the reads are the exact same, so I'm just going to do it once. I'll just break down how to beat the cover three, and then I'll show you the cover, f or uh, I won't even have to show you the cover four because the reads are exactly the same. The play works exactly the same versus cover three and cover four. So let's run through it one time, show you guys what's going on. Run back, run back, run back, run back, run back. Okay, that should be enough to showcase. So against cover three and cover four, setup is the same. Again, same setup versus everything. What you're going to want to do is you're going to notice here. You get one-on-one. -on -one. Um, of course, you can take that live streak chance or aggressive catch chance. Your next read, or your first read, always, is the drag. Drag's wide open. I mean, they got a spy there, but once he passes that spy, he gets underneath all the zones in the game. Then you get this halfback here. Um, and pretty much it's a flood concept on the right. So you just got to watch this flat defender. Um, if he plays the corner route from the tight end, you dump it to the halfback. If he plays the halfback, then you dump it to the tight end. On this particular play, this hook zone stayed with them for a while. Most of the time, they don't do that. Uh, most of the time, he's going to be wide open, that tight end there. But uh, let's go ahead and run this play one more time. And then most of the time you can get that play right there. So that's pretty much your read against the cover three or the cover four. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your feedback in the comments below. And until the next time, we go.